Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. My name is Peter Loshak. It's week eight in college football. Today is Tuesday, uh, uh, October 17th, and we are talking with Al McMorty from BigAl.com. We're going to talk about the very, very interesting, highly controversial, much debated USC Notre Dame game right now. Al McMorty, obviously, uh, USC has been uh, significantly overvalued this year. They're one and six. Uh, against the spread and uh, most of that ATS losing wasn't really that close of course coming off of a, a one point win against Utah where they were a double digit favorite uh, Notre Dame's coming off a bye and they do have a great ATS record I believe they're five and one ATS uh, overall on the year but looking over uh, you know Notre Dame's uh, they played a lot of uh, a lot of cupcakes that I think we can uh, I think we can throw out obviously the Georgia game was uh, was a uh, was a tough one and they played them tight but they did get out gained there and it's interesting the line opened at uh, four and a half and despite the ATS records of both of these teams it's now down to three and a half and I think I can understand why I actually feel I'm obviously I'm going to do a lot more research into this game before I make a final decision on it but as we sit here right now I think I'm leaning USC at plus three and a half and I'm very 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 interested to hear what your take on this game is, Al. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of agree with you, Peter. You know, the Fighting Irish, they've been installed as this home favorite versus the Trojans. And like you, I can't pass up taking the points with Southern Cal. And I'll throw out a few technical reasons that support my, you know, uh, feeling here. First, Pac-12 single-digit underdogs. Those teams are a super 152 and 107 against the spread versus non-conference foes since 1980. So that bodes well for USC. But to your point about one team being great against the spread and the other team being awful against the spread, well, what that does, Pete, is it creates value and opportunity. It, on the surface, the knee-jerk reaction, of course, might be to take Notre Dame, but consider this technical uh, situation. In college football, teams off four or more point spread losses, those teams are 73.3% against the spread since 1980 versus non-conference foes off four or more point spread wins. So just the opposite actually happens when you take a look at a hot versus a cold team in that situation. And then if you take a look in that situation when the games are competitively priced with a point spread of less than seven points, the team that's cold has now gone 9-0-1 the last 10 in that situation. So I think that really bodes well for Southern Cal here as the underdog. And when you look at Notre Dame historically, the fact that they are 19 wins against 41 losses against the spread as home favorites versus winning opposition, including 4-18 and 18 ATS versus a foe with a losing point spread record, well, it all comes together here, and I think USC is a great play. That's what I'm thinking as well. Al McMorty, it's down to four and a, it's down from four and a half down to a three and a half. Uh, how far down do you think this line's going to go? You think it's, it's going to hit three, or do you think I should grab it now and put it on my official record? Well, I do think it's going to hit three, you and do. I would grab it now at three and a half. Why do you, th you, you think it's going to get it's going to get take so much money that it's going to bet, get bet down to three? Well, I don't think it's going to take a lot of money to get there. You mm -hmm. know, the issue is, is, does it crash from three down to two and a half? But I think from three and a half to three, when you've got the value on Southern Cal, you know, people recognize the fact that, you know, if USC was playing up to potential, they wouldn't be getting three and a half points at Notre Dame. Right. USC is still the better team, in my opinion. So I, I think the fact they're getting over three and a half is a big deal here. I see a lot of value with Southern Cal. And I don't think that the fact that Notre Dame has rest is that big of an advantage. So, right. yeah, I think it's going to hit three and maybe even below that. All right, Al McMorty, I'm agreeing with you. And I think I will put this one on my personal official record as well. Plus three and a half minus 101 right now at uh, at Pinnacle. Notre Dame off the bye and a great ATS record overall on the year. But Al McMorty and I are in agreement that uh, USC getting more than a field goal might have some value. Al McMorty, great breakdown. Glad to hear that you agreed with my uh, initial uh, lean on this one. Tell us about your website, BigAl.com. Sure, Peter. I've been in business since 1992. So if folks want to get my best selections, they can go to BigAl.com and click on Picks for Sale. Had a great week last week, 5-1 and one in the NFL, including our big five-star play. That was my favorite football play, college or pro, in the past two years on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Complete wow. domination against the Kansas City Chiefs. And we're going to do it again this week. And you can go to BigAl.com and click on Picks for Sale. And if you just want to get complimentary selections, we have not one, not two, not three, but four free plays every single day. You get two from myself, one from Larry Ness, one from Scott Spritzer. Just go to BigAl.com and click on Free Picks. And then on the Picks for Sale page, we have 16 handicappers, all with their best selections across all the sports. Awesome, Al. Thanks so much. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free 
for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.